there is actually one thing I haven't told you about the backpackers. They are actually located uh, in town. If you know where Burman Brook shop, right? Yeah, just almost in the CBD. Yeah, I can say yeah, in the CBD. If you know where KFC in town is, that's where they are. So when you are dwelling, when you are when you are dwelling there in the desert sky backpackers it means that you have got many services at your disposal if you want to take videos or what you want to explore places that are closer to the ocean to the beaches and um, restaurants mostly restaurants because they are going around the like alongside the ocean it is good to pick a place that is in town if you want to explore the informal settlements, that's actually in another area, but this one is in the CBD. You can access as many services as possible if you are occupying this place. So this is just one thing I wanted to address because I know that I haven't mentioned it. I've just been saying that there are backpackers, 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 desert sky, but I haven't really told you where they are located nice beddings nice beddings clean clean very clean very clean very clean hmm? nice curtains nice curtains indeed very clean place mm -hmm. Look at my hair. <laughs> Look at my hair. Look at my hair, my dear. This is how we look like when you come back to the station. You see me one moment wearing a wig. The next moment, the wig is removed. The next moment, I'm having braids. That's how we, you know, but uh, if you find us back at night, this is how we look like. Am I looking funny? This is how I am looking like when i actually changed the hairstyle yes backpackers for you desert sky there are actually many backpackers here but uh um speaking to you from uh, desert sky backpackers thank you prosper sometimes you don't always have to plan on what you are going to read about when you are reading the bible you see uh, most of the time your bible is closed like that your bible is closed you don't always have to yes you can make uh, put up schedules and uh, identify topics or verses that you want to read for the week or anything but sometimes when you approach your Bible, you just come, you find it like that, closed, and you just open any page. You open any page, you just, even with closed eyes or looking on the other side or looking on the cover, but you don't know where you are going. You don't know which, uh, where your hand will take you, which page it will take you. My English, I go through rounds because of, uh, you know, uh, we are st we struggle to speak the language is not my mother tongue so as it's close like that you put your hand anywhere on the bible and it will take you to that page you are going to any page you are going to find a powerful word there if you are perhaps not happy with that page you can close it again and just open it and 
I, most of the time that's what i do and i would always find a good message and i count it as my message that i get from the lord and uh, i i i love it so this is how we open the bible not all the time i'm not saying this is the way to open the bible i just find it something that works for me and i had one day i had somebody um testifying to it that yeah if you do this this is what you what you get and i i thought so i'm not alone we actually told that do this so it's one of the ways to approach the bible not the only way but one of the many ways so this is what we do you see my 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 hand my finger it gets there it gets there let's see what is written there psalm 33 verse okay let me go to okay verse one psalm 33 verse one there sing joyfully to the lord your righteous it is fitting for the upright to praise him we can even go to verse six there read the all the verses i'm just jumping because i don't want to make the video too long by the word of the lord the heavens were made they are stereo host they are stereo host by the breath of his mouth sometimes you can even find a word that is talking to your own situation whereby you find god encouraging you because you have to personalize the word of god to make it yourself the bible says god is the same yesterday today and forevermore it means that if those verses worked for those people of the time of noah the times of moses the joshua joseph uh caleb and other bible figures the likes of Abraham, it will work for you because we are serving one God who is the same yesterday. Those days of Noah, today, tomorrow, every day, forever, is the same God, meaning that if, if the word worked for those people, it would actually work for us. So let's close it again. We open randomly. We are here on uh, page Ahab killed at Ramoth Gilead. So you just read the story. Maybe it's talking to your situation or to the situation of your neighbor, or you'll actually just learn about how Ahab got killed at Ramoth Gilead. Hmm? Look here. Jehoshaphat defeats Moab and Amnon. Oh, this is my favorite uh versions of scriptures so i'll bring you to this uh, sec book of second chronicles chapter 20 uh from verse 1 to 30 it's actually a good thing for you food for you food for you so i'll come here one day let's see again it's a very very powerful story if you have time not only when you have time try to make time and go to the book of second chronicles chapter 20 Jehoshaphat defeats Moab and Amnon. This is telling us that Jehoshaphat, um, three armies came against Jehoshaphat and he didn't know what to do and he prayed and he later won the three armies. So read it and drop a comment. Come back to me and tell me what you found on this uh, uh, chapter. Let's close it again. We are now here. I don't know if you have observed it. It was close. Okay. What is written here first? Ezekiel. Ezekiel's inaugural vision. It's talking about the, the, the vision for Ezekiel. King Ezekiel. I believe Ezekiel was a king. So, yeah. we we'll close it again. I don't know if you are observing what I'm doing. You find the Bible close like that. You open any page without knowing what page it is. You just do this unknowingly it takes you where everlasting salvation for zion huh you come from work and you just do this uh this is actually the concord dances this bible is having references the something like a dictionary yeah you close it again if you maybe not happy with that page you do it again it the lord's answer so this is the lord's answer to someone I'm ending it here. I, I, I was just sharing with you one of the magnificent ways to read the Bible. Thank you and good night.